welcome back to the channel it's colin j and as you can see we are taking our boat out for the very first time today we picked a pretty windy day to do this but we are confident that we can maneuver this boat around and hopefully find some largemouth bass we'll talk a little bit more about the boat once we get to our fishing destination but we're gonna take off and get to the other side of the lake where it's a little bit less windy so stay tuned we'll see you guys when we get to the spot Okay, so we ran across the lake and got behind a wind protected bank and we are about to go fishing for the very first time in our new bass boat. As some of you guys know, this boat was given to us from a very generous couple of subscribers, uh, Richard and Jill Dean, and we can't say thank you enough to you guys for bringing us up with this boat and we are so glad we're finally able to go fishing out of it. Um, what you guys don't know is that we weren't able to go out of the boat as soon as they gave it to us. There was a couple of outboard issues that we had to get worked on and uh, that just took a little bit of time. We also had to say a big thank you to my cousin Marcus for working on the outboard, getting it running. And and while we were waiting on the boat to get running, we had another subscriber reach out to us and he said, hey, I've got an old trolling motor that I'm not using, but I think it'll be an upgrade from the one that's already on the boat. Do you want it? And we were like, yeah, that sounds yeah. awesome. Sure, why not? <laughs> Heck yeah, we want it. So we have to say a big thank you to Dave for hooking us up with a new trolling motor spot. So we'll show you that in a minute. Thank you. And then we have to say thank you to my stepdad, Nick, for helping us install the trolling motor. So we are ready to go. We are ready to go fishing. It's a nice day. It's fall. It's pretty sunny, as you can tell. It's really bright. But we just saw a fish bust on the bank over here. So we're ready to get cast and see if we can catch our first fish off our new boat. So stay tuned and let's see if we can catch a big one. You got a fish? First fish, first fish, is it big? Is it a good one? That's not a good one, holy crap. That was like your first cast. I know. You got him? It's That's ready. a white bass. <laughs> what the heck? Check it out, my first cast out of the new boat and I caught the first fish. That's it's so a, crazy. It's a big old healthy white bass. <laughs> Couldn't resist that rattle trap. That's what I'm talking about. Woo! Now that's a good sign. Maybe we yeah. catch some more white bass or some big largemouth now. Okay, we're starting floating to the bank, so we're let's get him back in the start. water. Peace. Sweet. Good job, Jay. Give me some. Give me a little bit. Later. No. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it is a fish. I did not think I had one. Holy crap. What are you doing eating this big old crankbait, little dude? Get in my boat. Looky yeah. there. There's my first fish out of the rig. And it felt like a bite, but then I was like, eh, I ain't got nothing on there. That's a big old square bill for you to be eating that little dude. I will take it. We are making moves, guys. But for real, man, that is a big square bill and you are not a very big fish. Thank you, thank you, appreciate you. The birds are congratulating me on my first catch out of the, out of the boat. Anyways, let me get you back in the water and see if we can catch another one. I think I got a fish. I think I got a fish. I do have a fish. It's another baby. What are you doing eating my square bill? My big old square bill. Don't come off, baby. Don't come off. Don't come off. Ski him in, baby. Whoop. Man, these fish are ugly. That's an ugly fish. We got him though. That bait is half the size of him and it's just a crankbait. I don't even know how I felt to meet it. I'll take it though. Number two. They can't all be big. But actually they can. If you say they're big, they are big, right? Oh, fish. Okay. Feels like a good one. Maybe not. Not a bad one. Woo! Well, there is my first largemouth of the day. Another dink. Another dink. <laughs> we'll find a big one eventually. I hope so. Ready? Yep. Here's one. It's a good one. No, it's not. No, it's not. Dang it, man. That's a spotted bass. This wind is fierce. It's actually my biggest fish of the day, though. Sadly. Get you unhooked. Whew. 
Okay, there is my third bass of the day. It is a little spotted bass. This is actually my keep out here in this lake though. So now we've caught largemouth spotted bass and white bass. We've completed the bass slam out here. Get out of here. So we've been fishing this side of the lake for the last hour and a half and we haven't really caught anything large. As you've seen, we caught like five or six tiny largemouth bass. Jay caught that white bass and I think the white bass she caught was the biggest fish of the day so far, honestly. So we're going to motor up, go across this other side. There's some brush in the water and it's pretty windy over there, but we're gonna see if we can catch a fish out of the brush. So, ready to get a big bass, Jay? I'm ready. Let's do it. <laughs> Come here, fishy. Whoa. There we go. That's a little bit better. That was worth a move over here. Oh man, he's mad. Check it out, swapped over to a little bit smaller, flat-sided square bill crankbait. It's a six cents crush 35 flat X and they got our best green bass of the day. I will take it. No. <laughs> Is it? No. Another tiny bass. On the spinner bait though. Golly. These fish are so small. Look at how small that is. I know, it's like it's almost like they're pre-spawn butt bass moving up in here in the shallows. Sucks. Where are the biggins at? Popped up to a jig, and we're still catching the little dudes, guys. Look at that. That is just ridiculous. First trip in the boat, nothing but dink, something's gotta change. We're gonna find a big one, I can feel it. That's a big one, that's a big one, that's a big one. That's a big one, that's a big one. Did you, did you see that? No. Oh my gosh, that fish jumped so high. Got to begin. Whoa! Whoa! Finally! Yes. Finally! That fish jumped so high. I hope the GoPro caught that. Yeah, look at that. Woo! First good one of the day. There are big fish out here. I knew there were somewhere. Yes. Had to swap over to this jig. Got it here on this big point. And uh, we caught a couple of little ones, and now finally we got our decent largemouth bass. Yes! <laughs> Man, show big the is. I'm gonna say he's three and a half. I'm gonna say he's just barely over three. Just barely over three? Is he under three? You're good at fish weights, Jay. Three pounds and four ounces. Looks so much bigger compared to everything else we've caught today. We've caught so many dinks, but finally got a good bass out of the new bass rig. Okay, we got a couple picks with him, and now we're gonna get him back in the lake. We'll see you later, buddy. Thank you for saving the day. I was tired of catching tiny fish. All right, big guy. We'll see you later. Go. Kind of like a mud line. Got one. That's a good one. Another good one. I don't know if it's as good as the last one. It feels pretty good. Oh, he's running right at the boat. How big is that? Oh, he's hooked in the head. I got him in the head. <laughs> oh, there he goes. Oh, oh, come here. He swiped at it while I was kind of swimming it back over that that uh, point right there. I'll take it. I don't care if I hooked you in the head. This is like my second biggest bass of the day, I think. <laughs> We'll see you later, man. Tell your big girl friends to eat my bait.
right, that's it. Had enough this place. Time to skedaddle and go eat something. Okay, that is a wrap for today's fishing mission. It's getting dark outside, so we're heading back to the boat ramp. We had, I would say this is a pretty successful first fishing trip out of our new boat. Yeah, for sure. We caught like <laughs> 10 fish or so. Yeah. I think. And one big one to cap off the trip. <laughs> so if we yeah. didn't catch that one big one, you know, we'd still be happy with what we caught. But we're glad we at least got one big one on the boat. Too. But anyways, we gotta get out of here. We're starving and there's some storm clouds rolling in. We don't know what's about to happen, so we just gotta we gotta get out of the lake. We got to go. We got to go. Here we go. Yeah!